So I want to start here with your Twitter bio, and it says that you're a football player, but that doesn't define who you are. So what does define you? I think number one, uh, being my faith, I'm really strong in faith. Um, you know, I believe in God, I believe in a powerful God, and I believe that he blesses me every single day. And uh, two, being my family, um, family being my why, uh, why I do what I do, and uh, really my family groomed me and, and made me into the young man I am today. And uh, those are like the two things of who I am as a person. And your family, you do have a very important member of your family that is no longer here. That's something that we have in common. And how did you get through that and find the strength to get through that? Um, honestly, at first it was hard. Um, you know, I, like, I used to blame myself a lot for why my brother had um, gotten killed. Um, I, used to, I felt like, because it happened my junior year of college, so I felt like I didn't do what I needed to do in college to get to the NFL fast enough to get them out of that situation. Um, so over time, you know, blaming myself, blaming myself. And then eventually I, uh, I couldn't talk about it uh, openly. I couldn't express the words. So what I started doing, I started writing. Um, I started writing like creative writings and poetry. So about a week after he was killed, I wrote my first um, like poem and I wrote it to death. So I wrote a poem to death and then it kind of started. I started writing a little bit more. And you also wrote a letter to the person who killed your brother. Yeah. And there were some misconceptions about what that letter was trying to say. So can you tell me what, what were you trying to say in that letter? Yeah, so a lot of people take the letter as it was like a forgiving letter. And um, what it really was saying is in order for me to get past this, in order for me to live with this, I can't live with hate in my heart. Um, like I said, I'm really strong on faith and God, you know, in the Bible really expresses, you know, love, love your enemies as much as you love your neighbor. And, um, you know, really just trying to, you know, you can't live with hate in your heart. There's no way that you can cope with it. So for me to be able to cope with it, I just can't hate you. I can never forgive you for what you did, but I don't hate you. And that's how I'm able to get past that's how I'm able to live, you know, my daily life, my day-to-day -day life. And now you're here in this pivotal moment in your career, in your life, about to head into the NFL, your first NFL season. Yeah. What, with this new platform, what do you hope to do with that? Uh, really, I just want to give back to my community. Um, I want to, you know, spread love, um, you know, spread the word, and um, really just, you know, signify unity, uh, bringing people together, trying to dim down the violence uh, in the community, dim down gun violence, you know, take down the murder rate any way I can, um, you know, start a foundation, start a charity, or even like a unity day where everybody in the community comes together, you know, have fun, and, and really just celebrate uh, the community alone and the community itself. Thank you and best of luck. Thank you, Taylor. Appreciate you.